Hey guys, Matthew here from the M uh, YouTube channel with another ultralight flying video for you. It was a really nice day today. It's been windy the last couple of weeks, really. It's felt like so. Uh, winds finally calmed down, and finally got a chance to get out and do some flying. First up, just a quick touch and go, I had done some maintenance on the plane and so just wanted to make sure that everything was in good running order, so quick circuit around and uh, here we are coming in for a landing, a little longer than I wanted, not quite used to the slow flight characteristics of this aircraft, so uh, I find myself landing long a lot, so it's something I'm going to be working on. Now the main point of this video is I uh, have recently met a new flying buddy, his name's Mike, and he has his own airstrip. And uh, so I thought I'd go out and check it out. And uh, it's in frame right now, although you might not be able to see it yet. It's kind of small for what I'm used to. It, it is a thousand feet long, but uh, I'm used to landing on full length paved runways. And uh, anyway, you can probably see it there now at the center of your screen. Um, and again, you'll see uh, I'm coming in a little faster than I need to, and uh, when I touch down, I've, I actually use up well over half of the runway before the wheels touch down, but beauty of the ultralight is it really doesn't need a whole lot of space to stop. So yeah, well over half the runway eaten up, just uh, just trying to bleed off airspeed. But as you can see, I come to a stop fairly quickly. And the, the runway is uphill, so uh, it's sort of a, a one-way airstrip. You, you land uphill and take off downhill, so really it's a, it's a calm weather, calm wind sort of strip. Now because you're taking off downhill, it's not so much you're taking off as it is the ground just sort of falls away from you as you reach flying speed. It's, it's kind of a neat sensation. The only downside to this airstrip is on takeoff with an engine out situation, you're really limited in where you're going to end up. Hopefully you can keep it out of the trees, but uh, yeah, you definitely want to make sure that uh, you get up, get lots of altitude as quickly as you can. Anyway, that's uh, basically this video. I'm just going to head back to uh, Grand Falls Airport now and uh, land. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see if I can get some more fun and exciting ones up sometime soon. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Oh, P.S. I, uh, I did try to land and stop before I get to the runway numbers. And uh, as you can see, I just about do it. Not quite, though. I think I'll be able to get that done, though. Just a little bit more practice.